Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at your home. Students, eat healthy and be healthy. Today I am going to make a video for the students of 7th standard English subject. Today we are going to learn the questions and answers of lesson number 3.6 that is think before you speak. Okay students. Before moving forward, I would like to extend my thanks to my students, subscribers, those who have shared it, liked it, commented below the video. Thank you students and be connected with me. To connect with me, subscribe my channel. So without wasting time, let's get started with the questions and answer. Okay students. Question number one. Think and answer. One. Was Disraeli trying to give a scientific reason? The answer is no. Disraeli was not trying to give a scientific reason. Second, was he only trying to give a message in a light-hearted but effective way? The answer is yes. He was only trying to give a message in a light-hearted but effective way. Question number two. Think about it. 1. Do you remember someone else speaking to you very angrily without thinking? What did you do on that occasion? Did you also speak angrily? The answer is yes. I do remember my elders and friends spoke very angrily without thinking. On such occasions, I kept quiet and tried to understand what they wanted to convey me. Then I spoke calmly. I didn't speak angrily. Second, discuss what you can do to control your anger. The answer is, the best way to control your anger is to be calm in such situations. Have patience and breathe long. Avoid speaking more and don't argue more. Let that time be past. Question 3. Who was Socrates? The answer is, Socrates was one of the wisest men of the ancient world. 4. What did Socrates counsel to his disciples? The answer is, Socrates counseled to his disciples to keep their mouth shut and speak only when absolutely necessary. 5. According to Socrates, which three questions should we ask to ourselves before speaking? The answer is the following questions we should ask to ourselves before we speak. 1. Is it true? Second, is it pleasant? Third, is it useful? Page number 78, English Workshop. 1. The same word can be used as a noun in some sentence and as a verb in others. For example, 1. Many are the empty remarks. Student, here, Remark is used as a noun. Okay. Second, a wise man once remarked. Now student, here, remark is used as a verb. It means that a same word can be used as a noun or a verb. Okay, students. Now, what you need to do is make two sentences of your own with each of the words given below using the same word as a noun in one and as a verb in another. Change, show, throw, return and benefit. Okay, student, you have to make two sentences of each word. In one sentence, you will be used as a noun and on the 
in the second sentence you will be using as a verb okay so let's learn first change a change is a natural process in this sentence change is used as a noun two you should change it now in this sentence change is used as a verb second show one the show must go on in this sentence show is used as noun two my father shows me the image here shows is used as a verb third throw one the throw of yura singh was accurate here throw is used as noun two he throws ball quickly here throws is used as a verb four return one the returns of this policy are better than the other one here returns is used as a noun two they returned home early in the morning here returned is used as a verb now student the last one fifth benefit one please take benefit of online free classes here benefit is used as a noun second you will be benefited from this here benefited as used as a verb okay students now next question second complete the following one our ears are like funnels because the answer is always the funnels remains open and there is no door to close it second the two rows of teeth are like a fence because the answer is if you want to speak even a single word that word must pass through the rows of teeth third the two lips are like a fence because the answer is if you want to speak even a single word that word must pass through the lips four harsh words like scattered bits of paper carried away by the wind because the answer is once you have spoken the words aloud it is very difficult to take <clears throat> then back now student the question number 3 write a brief summary of story of the young man and his spiritual teacher making the young man the narrator you can begin as given below i went quickly to my spiritual teacher for advice because i had now you can continue i went quickly to my spiritual teacher for advice because i had spoken very angrily to my friend and used very unpleasant and cruel words to him he might had hurt deeply i wanted to make our relations as it was earlier fairer my spiritual teacher gave me a piece of paper and told to write whatever i said to him i wrote it and showed to my teacher but my teacher asked me to tear it out into very tiny bits i followed his instructions after it he told me to throw these bits of paper out of window as i threw it out it scattered here and there some of blew away too then my spiritual teacher ordered to collect all the bits of paper at the time i stammered and said it's impossible but he asked me to try first really i could not collect single bit of paper and returned back to teacher 
Then he said to me that the same happened with the spoken words. Once we spoke words aloud, it was very difficult to take back and control it. Hence, learn to use words or think before you speak. Okay, students, have you learned the questions and answers? Yes, very good. Student, you can pause the video and note down the questions and answers in your notebook and study it. Okay, students. Students, if you have liked this video, like it, share it to your friends and relatives, comment below the video and do not forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will get current notification of new videos. Thank you students and be connected.